everybody to a Where the Beatles Played or the debut of the Beatles as we know and love them. Their debut of Ringo Starr was in that building over my shoulder. Uh, it's a huge Beatles event happened there. Hoom Hall and Birkenhead on the Wirral. So if you saw, I think the previous video of somewhere where the Beatles played was Liverland Town Hall. This is what two years no just less than two years after that and the Beatles are a massive draw live band in Liverpool and Hoom Hall was a capacity of 400 but they had to extend it for the Beatles for 500. I believe they played here because it was a, a, a dance some form of dance was being formed here and the Beatles were built to play. Um, going back some well, last year on this channel, when I was in Skegness between Christmas and New Year, near where I live, and I talked about Ringo joining the Beatles on the 15th of August, 1962. Uh, this is the 18th of August, they play here with Ringo for the first time. Uh, but it's Hoom Hall, the debut of the Beatles, as we know and love them. Love them. And it was just in that building over there. Uh, I'm sure you probably want me to go inside, but uh, I had a word, there was a woman in there and they're getting ready for a wedding, it's a conference room for weddings and stuff, and uh, so I'm not going to be able to get in there, but that is the building. Pete Best was fired on the day the Beatles went to Skegness, or well, John and Paul went to Skegness to recruit Ringo, and uh, that was quite infamous stories that there was lots of protests and anger from Beatles fans for the sacking of Pete Best for Ringo. Ringo had played with the Beatles a few times in Hamburg already, so it wasn't actually quote unquote the debut of the Beatles with Ringo, but more the official debut of Ringo. There would be protests. There's no reports of there being any frustration here at this gig. Um, again, it is important to know the Beatles weren't just like a, they were like a big, huge band in Liverpool at this point. They were incredibly popular. Um, and when they played the Cavern a couple of days after this, in August of 1962, is where the protests for Pete Best would start. It was September the 4th when the Beatles recorded Love Me Do at EMI Studios. They had previously tried to record it with Pete Bess and this is what led to Pete Bess being fired. George Martin wasn't happy with the way he played drums. And Love Me Do would be recorded on the 4th of September of 1962. And so it began the recording career of the Beatles. Yeah, there we go. So quite an important Beatles moment happening just in there. I thought you would like a quick trip there. I think it's important for me to tell you, I'm not going to go into all the places with the Beatles, but I'm not even going to go to them all. I'm like, don't get excited. Um, again, it was just a uh, an idea I had when I was in uh, New Orleans because there's a book. I was in New Orleans and I was, um, I looked up where the Beatles played just out of curiosity, where I knew they played in New Orleans. And uh, it turned out it was like a huge deal. It was just bizarre how people behaved around the Beatles. It's really weird. and. I found it interesting, the story, and there was a book I read called The Beatles in New Orleans. It was about the day the Beatles came, it was a public holiday. And that's why I started doing all these. So I should have rec recorded them when I was in America, as I said before. Anyway, I'm waffling because I'm walking back to the car. Um, this is Dole the Hall, this is where the Beatles were. Can't get in, 